In recent years, we've seen many automotive and e-mobility companies launch new products and host unveilings at the annual Consumer Electronics Show hosted in Las Vegas. This year, CES switched to a virtual platform due to the pandemic. Unfortunately, big announcements were fewer and further between. But I'd like to share the announcements which gave me hope for more electrification in the coming years. Let's get to it. General Motors was the star of the show and had a lot to offer throughout the week. They have increasingly shown that they are investing in an all-electric future and they are not slowing down. First off, GM announced some significant electric commercial delivery products and services, including the EP1 and EV600 under a new service called BrightDrop. BrightDrop is meant to be a one-stop shop solution to commercial delivery, meaning from the first to last mile. Let's take a little bit deeper dive on each of these reveals. GM has made some progress with their Ultium battery systems, and they've rolled out more detail about significant upgrades to their battery chemistry compared to what you'd find in today's Bolt EV. The new cells contain less cobalt and integrate more aluminum. They say this will result in higher energy density and save physical space for the pouch cells they are developing in-house with LG Chem. Depending on the battery and motor configuration, they plan to achieve up to 450 miles of range. If that doesn't sound like enough for you, they're working on a future next generation of packs, which they say will be able to deliver up to 600 miles of range. They claim those batteries will be produced at a price point, which is about 60% lower than what they sell today. All right, on to the new products and concepts. The first product GM revealed in the suite was the EP1. Essentially, it's an electric pallet powered by hub motors. It can carry up to 200 pounds of payload and has 23 square feet of space for cargo. If you need more space, you can simply link them together to increase the load. The shelves are adjustable and the cabinets are lockable for security. This should take all the physical strain off workers too. When autonomy hits, I think these could be strong competition for those Neuro R2s that I was talking about in the 2020 Rewind video. Next up is the EV600, which is their first electric commercial delivery van. The EV600 will use the Ultium platform to achieve an estimated 250 miles per charge. It supports 120 kilowatt DC fast charging speeds. With 600 cubic feet of storage capacity and an under 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, it fits in as a class two option with the Amazon Prime Vans by Rivian and Deliver E Van by Bollinger. First deliveries of the EV600 are scheduled before the end of this year to their first customer, FedEx Express. These two products are just the start for GM and their Bright Drop business, which goes beyond physical products and represents a foray into software. The software services include the ability to track and manage operations data, vehicle health, and safety optimization. GM also teased some new Cadillac concepts, including an electric autonomous personnel shuttle, as well as an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. They are clearly trying to demonstrate versatility when it comes to their role with mobility in the future. But let's get back to real life vehicles with production intent. There was also a teaser for a Cadillac flagship sedan set for production called the Celestic. There aren't many details at this point, but again, it will be using the Ultium platform. The vehicle is focused around an individual experience for each occupant. A smart glass roof with four electrochromatic zones can be tinted to the liking of the driver and each passenger. That's pretty luxurious if you ask me. I hope we hear more about the Celestic soon, along with GM's other products. Okay, time to move past GM and on to the others. Last year at CES, I was dazzled and confused by Sony's Vision S concept car. This year, they're back with news that they have a drivable prototype and they've been testing it. Sony worked with several partners to get this far, but they aren't clearly signaling that this will go into production. One can only hope. At the very least, they will be able to use this product as an all-in-one showcase of the technologies they intend to offer to the automotive industry. Sono Motors, on the other hand, does plan to come to market with their first model called the Scion. Sono Motors is leaning heavily on solar technology. Their prototype combines a polymer exoskeleton with 248 solar cells. Interestingly enough, the Scion will have just over 1,500 pounds of towing capacity. The vehicle has a 35 kilowatt hour battery and its charging port supports up to 50 kilowatts and will be bi-directional. 
they are projecting 255 kilometers of range on the WLTP cycle, which works out to be about 158 miles. If rated by our EPA, I'd expect it to be closer to 100 miles. Although they are based in Germany where they initially engineered the Scion, manufacturing will happen in the former Saab plant in Sweden by Chinese-backed NEVs. Right now, the 2022 delivery is specifically aimed at the European Union only. Best of luck, Sono Motors! Swedish electric bike manufacturer Cake held their own CES. The Cake Electronics Show is where they revealed a new food delivery device in partnership with Dometic. The Dometic food delivery box is designed to keep food fresh during the delivery process by allowing you to regulate the temperature with dedicated controls for cold or hot items. It also has a built-in air purification system to neutralize odors between deliveries. I guess there isn't a huge market for pizza which smells like fish or fruit. <laughs> the box sits on the back of the Osa electric bike and connects to its battery which sizes up to 2.6 kilowatt hours. Cake continues to find creative accessories and use cases for their platform. Okay, this last one I want to talk about is a battery powered product which will improve our ability to safely get out there among one another. Razer showed off prototypes of Project Hazel, a translucent N95 rated mask loaded with cool features. Those perforated circles on the front not only offer filtration, but also actively ventilate, bringing in cool air when you inhale and pushing out hot air when you exhale. That way your face won't be blocked by a foggy window. There are microphones and amplifiers built into the mask to make sure your voice comes through naturally and clearly without strain. The recycled plastic exterior is scratch resistant and the silicone seal around the nose is designed to be airtight and comfortable. The charging case is a work of art too. I hope they decide to manufacture this and sell it because I think it would not only be great for the situation we're in right now with the pandemic, but it might also hold promise for the medical industry, generally speaking. Well, that wraps up the Misco Electric recap of CES 2021. I have some more exciting product reviews and travel segments coming up soon, so don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. And if you want to see more videos, click the thumbs up icon and comment below with any topics you think I should cover. I'll catch you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.